Hey guys, here's a rundown of my Portland, Oregon commuter bike. It's a Marin Larkspur steel frame uh, from the 90s. Uh, initially, my brother got this for me as a gift. So I'm gonna give you an overview of uh, the accessories I have, how the bike is set up for a daily, about three and a half mile commute each way in Portland, Oregon. Uh, so to start off, you're gonna notice that the seat post here looks pretty long and the frame looks kind of small. I'm about six feet tall, um, but actually I wanna show you something. I prefer a smaller frame. So this is a 19 inch slash 48 centimeter frame, which is uh, pretty small. Like most people my size would be on like a 54, 56, maybe even a 58 inch frame. But the smaller frame is easier to step up over and I have this nice long seat post so I can fully extend my legs as I pedal. Having the uh, smaller frame allows me to sit upright which is a lot more comfortable for a long commute. Now also on that comfort factor I also have these old school uh, pullback Schwinn handlebars. I mean these are from a super old Schwinn bike. Uh, the bike is a 24 speed a three gear by eight gear. So typically on any given day in Portland, it's not super hilly um, on my commute from Southeast Portland to uh, the Northwest waterfront. So, so I'm typically um, usually about um, on the third gear, the third and sixth and uh, sec uh, second and sixth and third and seventh uh, speed there, so pretty good combo. So now let's take a look at uh, accessories. So I'm a huge fan of lights. So what I've been rocking recently is these cat eye lights. Um, this particular model has gotten really cheap, around like 10 or 15 bucks. And I'm actually rocking three of them. And I typically have them all going in strobe mode so i'm a big fan of uh, keeping it unique and i i think that uh having something unique makes you more visible to cars uh, these guys um, they just use regular double a batteries and they last a super long time on this strobe mode they last like twice as long when they're on strobe mode than on continuous mode so the lights aren't really about uh, lighting my path they're more about letting cars know where I'm at so looking at the front of the bike I um, you'll see I got a wheel here this is a uh, wheel and tire this is a nice slick tire so um, what I read recently is that slick tires on bikes are ideal because actually how bikes operate even though it's a slick um, just the weight distribution actually allows uh, this material to rip the road really well because there's so many imperfections on pavement that you're always going to get a contact and tread isn't really necessary so I'm rocking these Continental Gator skins uh, they're about 50 bucks um, and I believe these are 700 uh, centimeter by or what is it 700 cc by uh, 32 uh, millimeter tire and they've been really great they have Kevlar um, I've been rocking this one for about a month and I really like it so um, looking back at the bike we have my seat this seat is really great super cushy um, and actually this is reflective uh, material on the back let me see if I can shade it a little bit so that's the sun shining on it so um, helps with padding, helps keep me comfortable for bike commuting daily. Um, it's really important to be comfortable. Uh, this seat has an indent right here, and this is important for uh, male reproductive health, so I wanted to make sure and have that uh, indent. I actually got this seat at Goodwill for, for five bucks.